along those lines in the category of true success because we also want to help you succeed on Believe. I want you to feel amazing. Just yell and let me know how amazing you feel. Let it all out. Just let it all out. Yell, scream. Isn't it great to be alive right now? Isn't it great with all of this stuff going on? Doesn't it, don't you feel good just feeling at peace, feeling fully, like you can fully express yourself, like you can do anything you want? Don't you want that feeling all of the time? Because when we're talking about world news, we're talking about World War III, and we did a story on... Uh, uh, Iran is now uh, arguing with, uh, threatening, and of course, President Trump makes threats. You know why people make threats? Because when you're nice, they don't listen. That's a lot. You either have the choice about being really nice, or you start to make threats. There's really, and a lot of times, people don't react to when you're nice. So then, you got to figure out some threat, whether it's bullshit or not, to get people to actually change, right? Because otherwise, they're just going to tune you out and they'll just keep money, not do the job, whatever. So it's not good or bad. It's, it's just the way humans are. So we have people making threats. We have World War III. How do we succeed in a world of conflict and fear? How can you do that? How do we succeed in a world of conflict and fear? And I'm going to tell you, that in my opinion we have one choice because you can sit and try to rationalize this all day and all night and think about how you can uh, take steps and have mental processes and uh, figure out how to keep the bad things away and keep yourself on track and sometimes you have to I know I have to do that to survive because there's a there's a process and it's not necessarily a linear process where, um, it, what I mean is it may go in steps. So you, you do the best you can with this, right? Because we have all, we all have patterns from our past and we're harmonizing. Maybe it's not like a straight line towards perfect bliss, but we're harmonizing from our past. And certain times we'll be doing really good and then something, something catches us and we have a tough time again. And we thought we were over that. We're like, my God, why now again I have to go through this shit again? Why the fuck do I have to deal with this again, right? Why, what the hell is going on? Why do I have to deal with this shit again? I thought I took care of this and now this is coming up again. And so it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily a linear path to perfection and harmony. And the same thing is going on in the world. So we do the best we can. But I'm going to give you one big tip that I think may be the only way to really find peace and succeed in a world full of fear and conflict. And that's really to love the fear and the conflict. Love it. You know why? You pro it's, it's possible. I'm going to say it's, uh, it's highly possible. I don't know. It could be under 50% chance. But it's right around there that you may have chose to come here for the opportunity to deal with this crazy world. You may have decided, I want to go down there because you know what? I'm chilling up here and everything is great and I have no worries. And you know what? It'd be awesome if I get to go down in a crazy place where I can't, I don't control anything and things are crazy and I might get killed by a rock or a boulder or people shooting people. And you may be up there thinking like, man, that looks really exciting. Because you might not, you might know at that point death isn't real. And we have near-death experience studies where thousands of people, you know, they, they die, but they, they're aware of everything. They can see themselves when they're physically dead, but they're kind of like floating above. And these are medical studies now with thousands of people going through these near-death experiences. And they're, they're all kind of saying a lot of similar things. And it could be highly possible that death isn't real. So if you're up there chilling and you're peaceful and you're, you're thinking everything's cool, everything's, you know, I don't have any worries, it might be like, man, I want to go experience some real stuff. I want to get my, you, you might not have blood pumping at that point. You might, you might be either another alien being 
that goes down and incarnates in this life. You might be an energetic being. You might be both, right? Who knows what you are? You could be everything. We could be all connected there as one being, splitting ourselves up. One thing's for sure, there's something going on that's like that. And there could be multiple levels about, above that or including that. Um, so you could say, I, I want to go experience this crazy-ass world where we have people, you know, uh, uh, lying. And it, it's great. They're lying. I'm excited. Wow, I get to go experience with people lying and, and they're going to, they might even screw me over. I'm excited. I want to I go down there. I want to get into that. You know why? Because if I do, I might learn something. If I'm just sitting up here, everything's perfect, what, what am I going to learn? I can do whatever I want. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we get bored up there, wherever the hell that is. There, there seems to be somewhere else, though. From every near-death experience that you look at, there definitely is more to the story than this life for you watching this right now. I couldn't say that 10 years ago. I, didn't, I wasn't aware of a lot of things that I'm aware of. But there's definitely more to our story. So we think, man, I'm going to go down there. I'm excited to get lied to. I'm excited to get all this conflict and people bitching constantly, people attacking me. It's exciting. I get to, I get to go feel crazy. I got this crazy-ass emotions going through my head. Oh, my God. I, I, I want to. Please let me go down and get fucked over. I am so... I want to deal with it all. And then you know what? You're born. And you don't know that you wanted that. You, you just arrive here. You're out of the womb. And your mom is there. And you're, you're human. Nobody knows why they're human. So people have, you know, we're trying to make our best guess. And so you don't know either. So here we are. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm getting a better idea. But what I've got, what I've got through different avenues is there's good in everybody's heart. The killers, the people that are bad, every single person, there's good in your heart. No matter what you've done, how many times you've lied to me, maybe you pissed me off, maybe I pissed you off, there's good and the good is what is real, the good is what lives on. And you know when you train your muscles, you work out, a lot of people working out out there, the more resistance you have, right, that muscle breaks down and what happens, it grows bigger. It gets bigger after. The resistance, the more resistance you have, it could be that the more growth you have. So these people that we think are against us, because we all have these things we think are against us, I guess, they could be doing us a service. They could be doing us a service. And without them, and it's tough for me to even say this, because if it happens, I'm not thinking they're doing me a service. I'm thinking, man, I have to deal with this bullshit I have to deal with this person fucking irritating me and oh, why, why, why do I have to? I just want to succeed. I want to do good. Why? And then I could thank them because it's a great service they're doing me. And I, in the weird part, if you want to succeed, because I could tell you a step, I did videos, the steps of 10 things you can do to succeed. You want to make money, you want to, what do you want to do? You want to have freedom? You, I, I did those videos. Go watch, go watch our channel. I did a lot of things and I've done a lot of things and I've failed and I, you know. What is success? That's a good question. Think about that. What is success? So we have a true category, this, or a category, true success. So part of succeeding may be to figure out what the fuck is going on in your world, right? Over and over and over. Why are these things coming up irritating me over and over and over and over? And it's probably, it could be different for all of us, right? Because different things are, we're going to have different effects. They're, they're going to have different effects on, on each one of us. Something that's a challenge for you might not be for me and vice versa. And I wish what I, what I would like to do and I hope I can do that by just doing this video and this talking like this, is to help each other with these challenges that all of us have, right? But it's hard because we feel like we have to fight with each other constantly. And uh, we all have different uh, definitions of what is right and wrong. And we have different standards of uh, 
everything. So it can be very difficult. But the, the success in terms of in this world of conflict and, and fear could come from loving these challenges, loving these people that are doing these things or these beings that are doing these things and forgiving them. And when you do, you might be free. And I need to do that right now. I'm literally going to sit here right now and forgive and try to send out that energetic signature to everything. Forgive and try to ask for forgiveness. And we can be free at that point. And when you're free, then you can succeed. Things start to come to you easier, right? In the law of one, it says forgiveness stops the wheel of karma. Just look up the law of one. Maybe it'll resonate with you. It's a free text. The law of one. It's just, it looks like a very old school website. In fact, let me see if I can pull it up here. The Law of One. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Here we go. Let me fix my microphone. The Law of One, raw material. Does everybody see this? This is an, our YouTube viewers can see this now. This is an old school website, but you see, these are, this is so amazing. Just start reading. It's going to seem, it's going to be kind of tough to read. You know what? Is this right or wrong? I don't know, but it's pretty damn interesting. I can tell you that much. You start reading this and um, there's a lot going on here. And so in the Law of One, and uh, the website lawofone.info, www.lawofone.info. So there's a lot going on there. Forgiveness stops the wheel of karma. And you know, the, the tough thing for us as people, I know for me, what about those things that keep happening over and over and over and you thought, man, I dealt with this already. Why am I dealing with it again? What the hell is going on? Am I crazy? Is the world crazy? That's a tough one. And I think that's where we can help each other, hopefully. You know? So email us, believe at believe.love, and tell us what you think. Tell us how you get through uh, dealing with this conflict and fear, this programming that we're getting, and how we can forgive those people and invite them into our harmony. How can we do that safely? And you know what? It's kind of like this. And some people might think of me as a lion, but there's a lot more scary lions than me. But it's like this. So with a lion, you don't stick your arm in when you're helping the lion and see if it's going to bite your arm off. You might, you know, so you don't have to uh, put yourself in harm's way. But there could be other ways. But I will tell you one thing. The more we ignore it, the more it's going to be there. And the only reason I'm doing this show or any of this stuff is because of the feelings that were bad that I thought I had, that I hated. I hated those feelings. I felt terrible. And it was the great, it, it, in a way, it's the greatest gift. It's the greatest gift. It's the only reason I'm doing it. The only reason. I would be like a drone just working, trying to make a lot of money, and that's it. So sometimes the things we think we should hate can do us the biggest service, and it is very tough for me to say that because I have challenges every day. I may even tonight, but you know what? I can send some love to that tonight, whatever that is. I mean, there's random things that happen constantly that I'm like, why did that person just do that? What, you know, I wouldn't have done that. Why did they uh, tell me they were going to call back and they didn't? What, a, you know, that, that, that used to make me crazy. Now, you know, now I can let it go more often, but I'm not perfect at it. And then over time, maybe I'll be really, really good and I'll really send them love instantly when that happens. And so I think about that now. And there's a process. And the whole world is in a pattern, probably, of harmonization over time. And if you look at our country, the United States, and everything going on, you see what I mean. It's all a process 
of harmony. I don't know anything that was just automatically perfect, right? But it's hard when you're in it. So we all need help getting through those little things, those little times that, that do drive us crazy, right? So I want to help you. So email us, believe at believe.love, and, and leave comments on our website, which is www.believe.love, and on YouTube and wherever else, and let us know how you're getting through this and what we can do to help you, and let's help each other.